Hey! Something catches your eye? Your wares are of no interest to me. Pity. Surely you require a, an instrument to protect yourself. This place is an unforgiving one. My darling daughter was not so fortunate. She was taken inside that place. My heart is weighed down with my grief. Nevertheless, it is a heart that would surely be lightened with a purchase. Regret is not something you will feel. What is your daughter's fate to be? It is a heavy price, but one demanded by the church. A church with prejudice against its own congregation, sucking the hope out of us all. She is in the chains of these wretched people. I must resign myself to a fate of a hunt, an all-consuming pursuit of those who hold her. I must. Your purchase will be gratefully received and will return a mere fraction of the warmth to my heart. So, what say you? But be quick, my time is limited, and I must relinquish my daughter from the hell she's in. Hmm. Yet I cannot help but notice your anguish. Not anguish, but an acceptance of the truth that has evaded me for so long. Tell me, what are you? Eric. I know whom you are, but what is your purpose here? Prayer. Yourself. To mourn. Seek refuge.
many here do. It's a place of acceptance, finality, forced upon us by the people up high to save themselves from ailment. A callous man haunts it, one who will doom us all in the end. So I have accepted my fate and became familiar with where I am destined to be, right here. I cannot continue my life until my husband is at peace. This is impossible without the flowers, only found in the sea city. I fear I will never be able to place them here with my beloved. It is a dangerous path, but one your strong heart can sustain. Will you bring them to me, Eric? The Sea City. I've heard only whispers about it. Can you tell me more? A place that has seen many sacrifices to a deity that we not speak of. A place drenched in riches and in as many secrets. Wealth drove those who inhabited the city of Silver Bridges mad. Those riches still remain, there for the taking. Many have taken advantage of them. Perhaps you will too. A field of death. Some say it is the possession of one man. A testing grounds. I have heard whispers that he steals corpses from their resting places. Their bones, his ingredients. Evil courses through his veins, as it does through those things he's created. I pray that the church forgives him. But alas, I fear my prayers will be in vain. Yeah. <laughs> 
closer, warrior. I need assistance.
sir. Allow me to assist you. Ah! Stay back, scoundrel! This is no place for a traveller. What a boneheaded thing to do. You could have gotten yourself killed, laddie. And in my house, too. This is your abode? I know of a much safer place. You pulling the wool over me eyes, laddie? No, it is a safe place for many. A place free of scourge. For now, at least. Aye, I've heard whispers of it. But only whispers. Gives me the shivers it does. How do I know that I can trust you in the words you speak? You aren't one of those... things. Hmm. Perhaps you're concealing yourself. It's exactly the manner of deception I'd expect. You could be after me artifacts. Technology many would marvel at. I assure you, I am merely seeking to find my way. I suppose it's the best offer I'll get. Aye, be seeing you at the manor. I suppose it's the best offer I'll get. Aye, be seeing you at the manor. upon you once more. It seems you were right, laddie. This place sure did come up with the goods. Fancy anything you see?
gratified to lay